Hi everyone, I'm Ron Jordan with Focus on Energy, and we are here at the Fitchburg Net Zero Ready Home. Jacqueline and Kevin have lived here for a year, and we want to see if their house has achieved net zero. Come on. Jacqueline, Kevin, congratulations. This looks great. It's been one year, so has the new home luster worn off yet? <laughs> no, I feel like we're still in a new home with all the projects we have to do, but we've really filled it in. We love it here. Yep. Yeah, we really love our new home. So, Kevin, let me start with you. It's December. It's cold out already. Um, and it, it feels fantastic in here. So, is your home net zero? Meaning you're producing, it's producing enough energy on its own to supply enough energy for the house. Yes, it is. Yeah, we've, uh, we're actually producing more energy than we need. Uh, just a little bit more, but that was also kind of baked into the plan a little bit. And that includes uh, our transportation costs because we're EV owners. So you added with everything an EV. Yes. And, and uh, so a charger in the garage. Yep. And we're still net zero energy. And was that part of the plan when you were with the building performance consultant stuff or you added that in after? We added that in afterwards. And it still kept everything the same. Yeah. Yep. So even with the EVV, you mentioned you're overproducing. And what does then what does that mean then? Like, are you are you getting money back from <laughs> the electric company? Are you selling them energy? Yeah, so a few things to that. We signed up to be a net metering customer with our utility. So what that means is whatever we sell onto the grid becomes a credit on our energy bills. So we rack up credits in the summer when we're producing lots of energy, and then we can use those credits in the winter when we're not making as much. You know, there are some times where you, you do have to pay a little bit of money, right? I mean, you're still paying some money to the electric company. Correct, yeah. And generally the idea is that it'll be close to zero through the year, but there are months that we pay and there are months that we draw back from the credit, basically. Right. But in essence, though, it's still net zero. Because you're still, it That's evens right. out across the board. Regardless Correct. of what we're paying, we are a net zero home. Mm -hmm. the, the big things we were talking about last year, were the, and we're talking about a lot this year, are heat pumps. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your air source heat pump. I wouldn't go back on it. It's so comfortable in here, and we don't have those big swings in indoor climate. Really hot, really cold swings. Um, and as expected, we spend a little bit more in the winter to heat our house versus the summer, we actually pay less than we would um, have otherwise. So I'm really happy with the air source heat pump. Mm -hmm. And the um, hot water heat pump, how, how about oh, that? I, that is the thing that has surprised me the most. Do you know how efficient those are? We're doing some uh, monitoring and just some preliminary evidence is pointing to the fact that that piece of equipment saves us a lot of energy. So I, I'm pretty happy with the heat pump water heater. Kevin. <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy with it as well, um, and also with uh, our induction stove top as well. Um, you know, it took some getting used to, but now I actually like it more than cooking on gas. Um, and I like our electric fireplace as well. We get a lot of questions at Focus on Energy about solar panels in mm. winter and snow on them. So, you know, you have a, a lot on there. You have a lot of solar panels up on there. Yeah. Tell me about last winter, the first time snow on them. So what we noticed, um, we intentionally designed our roof to be steeper than a traditional roof. Uh, so the snow actually falls off our solar panels. That didn't really compromise um, what we were able to produce in the winter. What we did notice is that some of the snow um, falls pretty, pretty quickly off the roof. So we think we need a snow baffle to cover our air source heat pump just to protect that piece of equipment. So what would you have done differently? Well, I mean, I probably would have put some switches and outlets in different places. But besides that, I think, you know, we, we had a time and money goal that we were running up against. And I, I feel like we would have considered sourcing environmentally friendly materials if we had more time. Um, I also know that there's a lot of energy that goes into building a house. Um, but that's a future me problem to solve when, when we build another house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so you're going to... You would build another net zero home. I mean, yeah. And I would even make it more energy efficient and use more modern technologies. I mean, maybe a passive house on the water. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Let's, we'll see. Let's, let's, let's use this one first. <laughs> then we'll think about the next one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so 
My wife now is talking net zero home. Oh, and there's cool. lots of people I'm sure watching this that maybe they want to do it. What is the advice you would give for a net zero energy home? Oh, yeah. Uh, one, I would say ask your builder if they know how to build a net zero energy home. Mm -hmm. Start there. Number two, figure out the energy production side of things. What system are you going to get? How big is it going to be? Uh, when can it be installed? And how are you going to pay for it? And then three, I would turn to focus on energy. They've got lots of resources on their websites and lots of experts that can help guide you throughout the process. Did you achieve what you set out to do for the home? Uh, I'd say so. I mean, we came in at budget. Mm -hmm. We built a net zero energy home and that includes our, our transportation costs. So definitely, yes. <laughs> now, I know that uh, we did mention some monitoring was going to go on between this house and your neighbors, which is your brother, correct? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so that is still happening. Correct. Yep. The monitoring is in progress as we speak. We don't have any um, research quite completed yet to report on, but that's coming up. And Gotta say, I think it'll cause some sibling rivalry here. <laughs> well, we will we will check back and do an update once we get those numbers in the future. Thank you both. This is fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>